Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Nicholas Lionrider, and welcome to today's video, which uh, it's it's a unique one. It's a one-off, which is uh, a bit more unique for my channel. So, uh, well, actually, probably not, based off of my performance of my last few series. <laughs> but, like, uh, yeah, so today uh, I am going to be uh, going over my entry for my, my good friend Annika's uh, build challenge. So, um, I also have Leaf Productions here. Hey, hey, hello, everyone. So I have I have Leaf here, of course, because um, uh, without it, you'd no one will watch this video. So uh, so he's here uh, for his amazing voice uh, to share share some light on this build. Which what are we looking at, <laughs> Mr. Nicholas Lionrider? That is a, a great point. So uh, I should probably explain a little bit about the the series in general, or uh, what what this idea was. So Annika uh, basically took one of, uh, kind of a, a twist on an old series idea I had, which was Wildcard, which was randomly generate, it's, it's actually kind of two series in one. So mm. originally there was Wildcard where it was, you get, you know, I randomly select an animal, randomly select the build theme, and we do that. But then mixed with that, I've also had the idea for a while of, I wanted to do Planet Zoo build-offs. So Annika finally actually went ahead and did it. So I, all the prop and credit goes to her. Annika's actually, <laughs> you know, getting the credit here. But I was like, hell, hell yeah, we're, we're going with it. We're doing it, finally. So the first theme that, uh, the other uh, entrance in this, uh, you know, uh, first go-round, there was uh, myself, there was uh, SibCDC, or uh, Sur Surrey Gaming on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, Annika, obviously, and then uh, Crocodilus Nilotikus. Um, he will not be making a video, I don't believe, but uh, his build will also be equally uh, able to be uh, shared with everyone. So, uh, probably looking in and at, at the video so far, and you see a giant egg, and you're like, what, Nick, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> this doesn't. This, this isn't a zoo, Nick. It, I love it though. Like this is it's giving like. What's the Zelda game that, uh, um... Link's Awakening? Link's Awakening, yeah. It reminds me just like that. And you nailed, like, kind of, like, the mystical vibe of that. Yep, so, um, that was kind of the big thing. So, for this first, uh, round, we were like, okay. So, we randomly rolled. We put in about 30 different themes of different stuff. It ranged from... There was, like, historical, there was classical buildings, there was, uh some more fantastical ones and so this one was fantasy so the themes were all <laughs> fantasy themed and initially you might have seen at the beginning of the video i, I immediately started with rock work because i didn't really know what i wanted to do mm -hmm. and i'm like okay i at minimum rock work will get me a good way there so when i immediately heard fantasy my initial reaction was i should do a dragon exhibit and then I started building because I was going to do like, haha, it's a Komodo dragon exhibit, but it's a dragon. But then I kept building, and then at some point I just looked at the rock work and I'm like, what if I had like a, a big like nest for like almost like a harpy or something? And then from there mm -hmm. I was like, okay, but what if the egg was like, yeah, and then I was immediately thinking of Link's Awakening and I'm like, oh, but I could do a big egg. Like, I just want to pause you for like one second. Also, hey, Dill, welcome to the video. <laughs> Uh, I just want to pause you for one second. That waterfall is beautiful. I love that shade of blue that you put on there. Oh, thank you so much. Also, I guess Dill's here now. So, hi, Dill. Hi. Hi, everybody. I thought this was general voice. Uh, how we, how we doing, video squad? It's fine. I mean, see, now we have the whole squad here. So of course, yeah. Now, now this is a classic Nicholas Lionrider video. Uh, and so, what I'm basically doing, I mean, we can talk about the build, but at the end of the day, it's, uh, I was like, okay, general rule of thumb, I wanted to make a, uh, we'll do, it was gonna be a rat type, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do, like, ostrich or cassowary mm -hmm. or emi or whatever, but I went ultimately with cassowary because I thought they were the most, like, magical looking. And they're colorful, too, which yeah. always adds to a build. Yeah, so that was the main idea. But, yeah, definitely I wanted to, like, highlight... I wanted the waterfall, and I wanted the egg as the two highlights. I started using the Twilight Pack to do, like, these kind of, like, ruins and stuff that I, I thought were kind of neat. And then this, yeah. is, this is an idea I thought... This is probably one of the coolest elements. So, 
obviously, like, yeah, the, the egg in the background, that was, like, w Link's Awakening inspired. But then for this, I was like, oh, I could I could do the bird heads because it's like a, like an ostrich habitat or something. <laughs> and then from here, I definitely leaned more into, I still wanted to keep fantasy, but I didn't really know what to do. So immediately I was like, I need to do something a bit more Lord of the Rings. <laughs> so I was looking more at Rivendell. And then I accidentally stumbled across the European, um, like, what is it? Like the salamander trumpet thing. And I'm like, oh, I could use this and make like really ornate, like, um, pillars or, um, railings. And so that was so smart of you to do because like no one uses those pieces. I'll admit it's like so specific to the point where you don't want to use them, but you found like the perfect way to achieve how to yeah, like, make it literally, work. I, I would actually highly advise if someone was looking for some like way to make a really ornate looking probably it would mostly be used for like gates or something mm -hmm. but that is a technique it does look really good and because it's all flexi color it fits perfectly fine and so that was definitely the idea i had so that was good and then yeah like i said it was very rivendell inspired so i was just trying to it's a little little atlas park you know, if anyone remembers oh, yeah. that series, so I was definitely... It's like, oh, Atlas Park, who bringing me back, Nick, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Because when the uh, idea of um, fantasy came up, I was like, Nick, just submit Atlas Park. <laughs> like, come on. But I would love to see how this compares with Atlas Park, because your style's really evolved since then, and like, I don't know, it's cool. Yeah, I It's think like I, the obviously... evolution. Yeah, because the big thing, of course, is... Um... <laughs> Well, there, there, there's a lot of big factors that have kind of changed. Obviously, we have much better pieces now than oh yeah when the game first came. Like, it's funny looking back at like some of those older series, whether it was Alice Park, Roger Williams, stuff like that. Like, all of those older series, they were great at the time. Now, looking back, it's like, wow, I could do that so much better. And so mm -hmm. now it's yeah, I have all the new things, and so I almost want to practically redo them all. Um, and so that was my immediate thing. Speaking of Roger Williams, we just got uh, the three of us just got back from Roger Williams, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah, we did. Um, it was great. It was. It was great. great. They have they have Dick Dick now. That's exciting. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have Battered Fox. We didn't see the Battered Fox, but um, oh, I saw him the other day though. I went I went a few days ago as well, so that was that was cool. lucky. Lucky, yeah. And um, I will admit. I almost feel like now we could just kind of, because it's one of those videos where it's like, yeah, I could talk about the build, if but it's mostly just me placing down flowers and rocks for, like, probably the next ten minutes. So and I, I, I already talk about that enough on my channel. Let's switch it up. What else can we talk about? Uh, I don't know. We, uh, we, Dill's here. Uh, we, saw, we saw a really good bird show today. That was... That's true. Uh, yeah. That was fun. So, yeah. um... Obviously, you know, if anyone isn't familiar with Roger Williams, uh, they, I, I haven't been doing my, you know, what's new, so you guys probably don't know, but there's dinosaurs now, so that's cool. But and where are the dinosaurs? They're among <laughs> us. Oh my <laughs> god. And so, accompanying the animatronic dinosaurs that they have, they have a, a really, really good bird show. The company that... I, I forget the name of the company, but... It's uh, Natural Encounters, Inc. There you go. See? This is why we have Dill here. But Natural mm. Encounters, Inc., they do a bunch of the big uh, bird shows pretty much throughout the U.S. Uh, I know they've done stuff for, like, uh, it, a lot of zoos in Florida, uh, even some of the bigger zoos like San Diego and stuff. I think they've also worked with them in the past to, like, help with their shows. Um, so... Chances are, if you had, like, a touring bird show, they were the company to help you out. But they have some really cool birds. Um, they have some different uh, rare birds of prey. They have a ton of macaws, which, fun story, I guess we could talk about that. The macaws got out, like, immediately as, as soon as they uh, came to Roger Williams. So there was, like, a bunch of videos all over, like, uh, TikTok and stuff of, like, people finding, like, parrots all over Providence. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, so that's always fun. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, like I said, flowers. There's not much to say get, about this. Build. It's gorgeous, though. Yeah, I mean, it's like, looking very pretty. It's. I can't even say like, oh wow, though. It's because I'm such a talented builder or anything. It's just the pieces. Like all, yeah. like literally all of these are like newer pieces from either conservation grasslands, um, 
what other, what other pack came out? I, didn't really, I think I used a couple of the Arid Bushes uh, that just came mm -hmm. out. Um, I haven't really talked about the Arid Pack yet, so that's fun. You um, have not talked about many planet super. Yeah, yeah I think you got I think you gotta get on that, Nick. I mean, it's true. <laughs> I've been working, everyone. It's I am busy. I have, yeah. I have I have I have other stuff I need to worry about. But uh this was an idea so I immediately I can talk about this, because this this element of the build um I actually put some effort into. So I sorta cheated, but I, I'm not really counting it as cheating. I was asking him, like, are we doing mods for this build? No, we are not. So I was like, well, that's a shame, because now I can't use the emu statue. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be like uh, Carlos G or like Romulus and, you know, it, or uh, what's his name? Roman. Roman? Yeah. Yeah, Roman. Um, and I'm just going to do it all piece by piece using eggs. <laughs> so I made... A vague ratite. I'm not sure. It kind of looks more like an ostrich, frankly, uh, than a cassowary, ultimately. But I decided I would do a custom statue. Just because. Because I, I didn't really know what else would add to this. We did have a time limit of, I, be I believe it was three hours um, to actually get everything, you know, kind of squared away. And it's definitely not the best statue. But, again, forgive me. I only had three hours to do this, this entire build. It's fine. It um, looks good. Yeah, I know. I, like, I think it looks fine. Uh, the issue, too, and I know that this has been brought up numerous times with the new update. Um, unfortunately, the eggs don't have the best LODs. so like It was fixed. It was uh, fixed in the last update. Oh, okay. Unless if you don't think so, but... Maybe not. I mean, because uh. when did the update come out? <laughs> I think it might have been after this build, or uh, before this build. So. I think it was before. <laughs> so Oops. maybe it wasn't fixed entirely. <laughs> Uh, it's all good, but come I... on, Nick. You gotta be updated. This is this is this is what happens when you take a break. Yeah, you gotta you yeah, gotta get on it. I know. I have to fix it. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, I okay. I apologize. I do not know who made these rocks, but I need to credit them somehow. I will be put, it, at this point in the video. I'm going to it, uh, the person who made this blueprint. I'm gonna be highlighting them because without them, I wouldn't. I. I would not even have a shot at this build, uh, be, you know, because <laughs> their rock work, phenomenal. I definitely, you know, I use them, like, basically, like, they're regular rocks. Like, they're they're just regular pieces to me because they're phenomenal for, like, needing. If you need, like, big cliff sides and stuff, really good. Plus, they're flexi color, which is really good. So, I appreciate using them a lot. And I also think that, like, since they're all the faux rocks, they kind of help almost, like, with a, like, cartoony like stylized you know art style so i thought oh, that yeah. was kind of neat so um just kind of rounding out this build there's not too much left to say about it i did want to add some more level of mysticism so i wanted like a giant glowing orb um which just something to ponder yeah so, yeah what's up yeah so um that was kind of the idea is originally i wanted to just use scaling because i obviously have scaling as a mod but yeah and i'm like i could just make the light really big and that'd be great but that'd be cheating so i mm -hmm. instead had to do this kind of big workaround where i was using a bunch of spotlights to like highlight the entire orb no matter where you were looking but then i had to kind of strategically hide all the lights so what you yeah. end up seeing at the top, you can see there's that one that is this kind of there. I'm like, whoa, we're doing a floating island. So I had <laughs> one little floating island above the entire build just to hide that light. Um, <laughs> kind of figuring out, like, yeah, the best way to do it. Um, and then once I did the, the main, you know, uh, big floating island, I was like, well, I need some little pebbles. And so fortunately we have those now, so I do appreciate nice. that. And so I was able to add the, the little extra bits of stuff, uh, kind of rounding out the rock work. I made, I added a couple more little um, highlight towers and stuff with the rock work, just for visual interest, because I wanted it to look semi-interesting. I added a couple more trees where I thought it could use some color. And uh, that pretty much wraps it up. Past that, I mean, yeah, there's just a couple of little, little touch-ups, adding some railings so that the animals can't escape, and stuff of that nature placing in the last bit of foliage but it looks gorgeous you have like the perfect bob ross eye for these big grandiose habitats it's so cool mm. 
<laughs> Thank you. I appreciate being the Bob Ross. Of... <laughs> you are the, the Bob Ross of, of Planet Zoo. Yep. Well, I mean, yeah. I appreciate that. But this blueprint is available on my workshop if you'd like to check it out. And uh, definitely uh, you can all check out all of the other builders. They should be uploading their other stuff today. Um, but what you can do is, uh, as you can see, uh, my beautiful habitat right now. So thank you all for watching today's video. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. All right. When that happens. Nice. Oh, yeah. Bye, see you in five years. See you. Bye. Bye.